welcome back to the tea of the day. Today I've got the just yummy juicy apple fruit tea. And this one's uh, by uh, Totem Teas and it's got apple, blackberry leaves, rosehip, orange petals, licorice root, hibiscus, and other organic natural flavorings. Hmm, okay. It's a very fruity tea and I'm not usually a huge fan of these, uh, but I'm always willing to give a new fruity tree a chance. Mm-hmm. It's not the tea's fault. I mean, some people will love this. This is just has the usual problem that a fruity tea has with me, is that as a tea, it seems more like a watered-down fruit juice. <laughs> That's just my problem with it. That's, I'd rather just have a nice, uh, you know, uh, fresh juice than I would... Uh, drinking this as a tea like this, um, and the blackberry leaves and the apple, and having all these pred predominant flavors being from fruits makes it just way too fruity. I like the fruits as accent flavors with the orange hips, uh, and the orange uh, peel and the apple and these blackberry leaves, they're all good more as an accent, but having that all as the primary flavor, it just kind of makes me go, it's a watered down fruit. Eh. <laughs> so I do, I'm sorry. You know, and this one doesn't work for me, but it's not necessarily a tea fail because I know some people love fruit teas and they'd, they'd like this one. Um, as far as the taste is concerned, the blackberry and the apple are pretty well balanced. I don't get too much of one or the other, um, but they are the predominant flavors along with the orange peel. The aftertaste, I can definitely feel the orange peel on. The other ones, I'm not getting too much of. The rose, you could say, is there a little bit as well as an accent, but overall, um, yeah. Some of you guys out there, you, you do you love fruit teas? Let me know in the comments below, because uh, I'm sure some of you do. Um, they're just not my bag. Uh, otherwise, I want to talk a little bit about blackberry leaves in particular today, and uh, you know, just like any other regular fruit, they've got tons of antioxidants, and so they've got lots of benefits because of that in particular. But there's a couple specific ones uh, with uh, blackberry leaves that are very interesting. It's supposed to help with various problems with the mouth, including mouth ulcers and mucosa. Um, it's a very good antibacterial, which is nice. It also has the traditional help, uh, ones like cancer and heart health. Um, it's also supposed to possibly help with very just uh, neurodegenerative diseases. Also, regulating the periods for women who have irregular periods. Uh, but on the flip side of that, again, pregnant women, they say to, you know, avoid it generally. Pregnant women are just not allowed to have anything. Why is that? I'm sorry, Gail. I'm sorry, y'all. Hmm. Sorry, guys. That doesn't make sense with pregnant women, does it? Pregnant women, unfortunately, they say can't have it, but it's not like a no, 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 can't have it. It's more like a just regulate it and don't have too much of it. And I think that's just the standard with uh, most teas when it comes to them saying pregnant women shouldn't have it. It's just anything in excess is something that can affect the, the baby, they, and they're always being uh, very protective about that. But when you're talking about herbs and various things, you can still have these. Uh, I think it's just a matter of being very regulated and being very careful about overdoing one in particular. That's really what it comes down to. Well, that's it for this little tea today. Um, let me know in the comments below uh, uh, what kind of teas you like, uh, specifically if you like these fruity ones. Uh, otherwise, y'all have a great tea day! Ooh.